in a sea of math curriculum, where do you start searching? That's how it feels, right? When you're maybe not happy with what you're doing or you just want to see what other options could maybe better serve your family, it can be so overwhelming and you feel like you're drowning because there are too many options and you're not sure what to do. I get it. I totally get it. So that's why we have this video, which is part two. So don't forget to check out part one where I looked at some homeschool math curriculum and I come today with more to look at. Hi, and welcome to Learning Life. Thank you so much for joining me today as we look at part two of homeschool math curriculum. Because yes, the mountain is high, the ocean is deep, however we want to look at it, there are some great options out there and maybe some options that really are not going to work for you. Um, and maybe this is just some terrible ones, if we can be honest. But when we have, we are faced with so many, it can, it can be really hard, right? And especially if you've thought, you know what, but my friend told me about the curriculum that we're using and we just don't like it and I don't want to hurt their feelings. I get it. That guilt can be really hard. But this is why we have so many different curriculum. It is so helpful for us to have options for what best serves us. And so maybe you are looking because you do need to change or you want to know what's out there. And so thank you for coming here. I do enjoy uh, making videos that look at different curriculum. As I said, I do. I really like to look at them. And so I do have some videos on homeschool curriculum. And if you have seen them, thank you so much. You know what, everyone, thank you so much for the likes and subscribes and comments. It really does make my day. Well, what are we going to do? Where are we going to start? Okay. Do you have your goals of what you want for your children to get out of the math curriculum? Do you want it to be hands-on, online, whatever it is? We're armed with our questions. And now let's look at four more math curriculum. Math Mammoth. I always want to say Mammoth Math, and it's not. It's Math Mammoth. But this is actually a curriculum that I really like. It's currently grades one through seven. Um, and I, what I really like about it is it teaches mastery. It doesn't necessarily follow that like spiral approach, but it builds on review and mastery. And you can do it through the curriculum or you can do it by units. So if you want to focus on money, guess what? You can also pick different countries and do the units based on that currency. You know, so this is great um, for that. There is some flexibility within it. Now, I also really appreciate that it appeals to the different learning styles because they actually explain concepts in a various, in various ways. And like, how wonderful is that? Because while some things are so very linear, maybe we need to understand it in a more roundabout way. And so I appreciate for that. Now, the teaching notes are important. So as the parent, yes, you want to make sure that these teaching notes go over, but the review and the practice is great. And it really can build independence uh, for our older students. Now, what I do also like is the cost of this. So you're looking at around $40 per grade or as a digital download even, which is great. Or you can get grades one through seven right now for about $185, which is wonderful. And you can print it out yourself, uh, which is really the most cost-effective way um, as that digital download and so you can be printing this out and create like your own notebooks and all of that, which is wonderful. And with that, you also get this list of links for additional things for practice and review. Like it really is such a great curriculum for really an inexpensive price. Teaching textbooks. Now, this was a curriculum designed for homeschoolers. Okay, so this is an online app. You can use it on any device and it really does promote independent study. It is teaching you. It is this little teaching textbooks. They're great activities for our students. Um, it's currently grades three through 12, but do a placement test first because it doesn't necessarily follow maybe where your schools are at. So it's always good to do that placement test and it is available online. I love that it is self-paced. Okay, so they're not also filling in like, you know, 180 lessons. They've got about 120 lessons per grade, which means if your child needs longer 
to understand a concept. They've got that time. Or if you finish it in 120 days, level up and move up. Um, The lessons are easy to understand. Um, They're interactive. So you're going to get feedback right away. And through that feedback, this is a great joy for some parents. You get a grade book with it. So you will know how your children are doing. And that's easy to translate across if you are keeping records for grades. Now, the cost for it as an online app, it's a one-year access. It's around $43 to $67, uh, depending on the course that you do. And there is a discount uh, for multiple students, but it's one child like per like account. You can't have two children doing one lot. But again, the price is not that bad, and it is a strong, strong curriculum. The good and the beautiful math. So I did do a review on the good and the beautiful, but didn't fully go into math. Uh, So this is kindergarten through sixth grade, and really it is visually beautiful. As I said it before, that's one of the things, the good and the beautiful is truly beautiful. Um, But some children like mine can find those pictures distracting. So that's just something to weigh up. It's really not the end of the world. Now, kindergarten through third grade does need to be taught by the parent, okay? But... Uh, The great thing is there's really minimal prep. This curriculum, you can pick it up and just turn the page and start teaching it. And that is wonderful. From fourth through sixth grade, there are online videos that do the teaching for you. So what a great way to really build an independent study. And so if you've been doing it before and building it up, this is great for your children. You know, they are looking at problem solving and math facts. Love that they really look at that understanding and reasoning. Uh, And again, it has more of that spiral approach that we learn a concept and we come back to it later and we go like a little bit deeper. Cost wise, you can download first through fifth grade for free. This does mean you need to print it out yourself. And if you don't have a color printer, it's only going to be black and white, but again, not the end of the world. But if you purchase it through them, uh, kindergarten through third grade is around $50, including the manipulatives, or you can make those yourself. Fourth to fifth grade is $50 and sixth grade is $60. Again, a good solid curriculum that's really rising up. And I'm hearing more and more people say that they are using it and really enjoying it. So this is another good, strong curriculum choice. Zern. Zern is a fun curriculum that I heard through word of mouth. Or somebody said, have you heard about this? I'm like, no. So let me look into it. And then this is what we are using. And my girls love Zern. They love that they're doing missions and they get little rewards at the end. There are fun activities that go always at the beginning, like for sort of math facts and, you know, sort of like that mental math stuff, which is wonderful. And it builds upon that. I think math facts are very important. Um, but what I love with the videos is that it goes through and it will stop and have the children work through with them. But it will also maybe teach it in a couple of ways. This is how one way that I got the answer. This is another way that I got the answer. And I really appreciate that because I have two children that think about math in different ways. Um, and so you can also like download for free, like the notes that go with it. Um, there's also um, additional practice problems with it and what they call exit tickets, which is basically, did they master the lesson? You'll be able to see that. Now it was designed initially for the classroom, but it really is a great curriculum that you can do at home, especially if you've got these practice pages with it as well. It really is a good balance between online and pen and paper. Cost-wise, it's free. So you can do the entire curriculum for free, kindergarten through eighth grade, okay? And you can just print off those sheets yourself or you could spend $20 to get like one of the notebooks that has all the practice problems and the exit tickets. The only thing that it doesn't come with is like end of unit tests, but you'll be able to see how your children progress, go into your parent account. It'll show you any alerts that maybe your child is struggling in an area. You can skip them ahead. You can move them back. You have some freedom to be able to move them in that. So Zern is another great curriculum option. In fact, all four of them today, I really like, and I think that anybody could be happy with them as it meets like what they need for a family. So why not check them out? The links will be down below, but also on my website, learningthis.life. Check it out. It's where I put like the notes about the things that I do and don't like and also give those links. 
Well, thank you so much for watching today. And I hope that this did help you in maybe giving you some curriculum ideas. Hey, it's helpful. Give a thumbs up. You know, and you can be part of this Learning Life community by watching the videos, sharing with your friends, or by becoming a champion. And you can do that through patreon.com or again, through my website, learningthis.life.